gonna win judges. Oh, we're gonna have some fun today. Hello, everyone. It's me, Shaolin Disciple, real one. Google that real quick. Today, I'm gonna let you in in one of my favorite pastimes, and that's looking at fake martial arts. I've met so many frauds in Shaolin, you can't even imagine, and it's just fun to look at what they're doing. I asked you guys on Twitter and Discord to send me videos. You did it, so now it's time for me to deliver. I can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> Just the starting screen is already fantastic. <laughs> okay, okay. That's actually impressive. I mean, he's flexible, that's for sure. I'm not gonna lie, this is how the kids at Shaolin do stretch. They do stretch like that. Sometimes. There are different ways of doing it, but some masters put the kids down on the floor, spread the legs, Bruh. put the stick there so they don't snap back. It's pretty funny, but I wouldn't say this was fake. This was legit. Good stuff. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I knew sooner or later we're gonna have one of those. The psychic <laughs> chi manipulation. It's so cringe. I don't know how anyone can fall for this. During my three years at Shaolin, I've never met anyone who talks about this stuff or pretends that this is real. I've never seen people in real life who practice this. And still to this day, I'm wondering if these videos are just pranks that are just taken out of context, maybe. I know this video is supposed to be kind of funny, but I'm gonna still add some information in here. There's this thing in China called chi. And it's probably one of the most misunderstood things, I think. Because when I went to China, Shaolin was very mystical, right? It still is to a lot of people. And Qi is this energy that's floating through the sky. Even a lot of monks and warrior monks at the temple use more esoteric explanations of what it is or supposed to be. Until I met one monk, he wasn't a warrior monk, he was a real monk, who kind of explained it to me in very simple terms. He just told me, Qigong is just controlling your breathing, which by the way, sounds easy, but it's incredibly difficult. Mastering your breathing during training and during exercises, focusing on your breathing, I can't do it. The clothing that they wear, these outfits, at the temple no one wears them, just so you know. But uh, there are outfits like that that some kung fu schools have, but they're not from the temple, obviously. If this is not fake, which it might be, a lot of those videos are. They're doing, obviously, the exercises for the... How to train your dragon. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? So at the temple, I've never seen a single person practice this, never, in three years, not, not one. I've asked the monks about it, and even they said, this is so rare nowadays. And to be honest, I also don't quite see the reason or the benefit of that. What the? Why? Oh my God. Sophia, you have to watch this later. Oh my God, the guy is biting trees. Why? Is he eating it? Oh my god, he's chewing on a rock. What? He's taking a brick. He took a brick and... I mean, respect, I guess. I don't know what that's for. Never seen anything like that ever. Looks like he's not doing himself any favors. I wouldn't even call that fake martial arts. I just call that... Okay, what is this? First of all, let's recognize that that is a great outfit. Never seen movements like that before. The funny thing is the stomping is actually something that is very common in Shaolin forms, but not like that. And also the movements, no, there's no point in this. Having a good time, but he's pretty proud of himself. Wow, okay. Oh, that looked real. That's pretty... Okay, well, that's pretty impressive. I've never tried that uh, apple under the chin thing. Guess it's difficult, I don't know. But this is pretty, that's pretty rough. I wouldn't be scared to cut my finger. Oh. Respect, not bad. That's willpower, man. There's something very interesting about the whole breaking bricks, breaking sticks at Shaolin Temple that are part of almost every Shaolin performance. This is gonna be, I wouldn't say debunking, but here's the thing. I could break a stick on your grandma's back. Not that I would, but the point of performing the breaking of sticks and metal is not the fact that they can break them. The point of this is that when you break something, you're not supposed to feel pain, but you can't see if someone feels pain. In China, they have to suppress their emotions anyways. And if breaking a stick hurts, they just have to suppress that pain for a moment until they walk off stage. Most of the warrior monks that you see performing the breaking of the stakes and all that stuff, it does hurt them, but it's just for the performance. The actual skill that's supposed to be demonstrated, first of all, can be demonstrated, and secondly, they often don't have it. There are a few people who do a lot of conditioning, they get crazy hard skin, and these guys are pretty badass. But other than that, when it comes to the Shaolin performances, take it with a grain of salt. I love that. <laughs> 
foreigners who go to Shaolin, they love to do the conditioning, you know, hit each other on the legs, but it's useless if you do it once a week or twice a week. The conditioning of the skin only takes effect if you do this literally every day, hardcore. And also then, what's the benefit you get out of it? It's a part of Shaolin culture that is dying out because the effort is enormous and the use is very limited nowadays. And why? <laughs> This is funny, but this is one of the things that I love about China. In Europe or in Germany, all people stay at home and they just vegetate and, and, until they pass out on their chair and they're dead. In China, all people go out. They have these dedicated playgrounds for all people. And you see all people meet out in the streets all the time to dance or to do exercises like this. This guy looks like he's like 70 plus. And look at his hip flexibility. This is, a, it's amazing. It's funny, but you can't hate on this. He's not stopping. <laughs> There's nothing more cringe to me than people who practice traditional martial arts and then start to talk about energy and all this mystical crap. If you've seen my Shaolin videos, you know that I don't idealize Shaolin, but I also don't slander it. Most people who talk about Shaolin online, they just don't know what they're talking about. That's the problem. But this stuff is just, that they're laughing. This is just, I, I, I'm confused. I just, I don't know what to think about this. Unbelievable. Another one. I don't even know if they attach it to, to which part they attach it to, to the... Okay, I have a bad feeling about this one. Obviously, when you see something like this, you think, oh, that's super cringe. That guy doesn't even know what he's doing. But you always have to think about what the context could be. So what this could be, a martial arts school, and they have a very old headmaster who's like 80, 90 plus, and they bring him in for a day, and then he's kind of demonstrating some stuff, but he's obviously not able to fight anymore, and the students are showing him respect. That could be it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Punching wall, chain, Wing Chun, chain fist. Okay. Okay. I'm not a fan of Wing Chun. A lot of people ask me, yo, what martial art should I learn? And it always depends on what are you trying to achieve. Wing Chun by itself, I think is really useless, but in combination with other things, I find it pretty good. But in general, if someone says, oh, I want to learn how to fight, I always say, yeah, kickboxing and judo. My favorite. <laughs> Viktor Matvev. I love him. Honestly, listen, you want to hear a truth bomb? What he does is so useless, but he uploads this stuff every day. And at some point you got to respect the hustle. I'm not even kidding. I love it. I, I, I love it. Here's the thing. He seemed to be pretty convinced of his own skills and that has a positive side and a negative side. If he's in a sticky situation and he appears with a lot of confidence that might scare people off to not mess with him, he probably won't be scared to engage in a fight. But the downside is if the other person also isn't afraid and is actually trained in useful martial arts, things are looking bleak. But yeah, I respect the hustle, man. Although I wonder where he got this from. The triangle of death. Look at this. A clear airway. It's already weird to me. Look at the master and look at the student. The guy looks pretty buff. What is he doing over there? People wasting their time. It's so sad. Look at this slow motion. He doesn't do anything. Obviously, punching someone on the throat is dangerous, but this is just useless slaps. It's also so irresponsible. This guy doesn't know what he's doing and he's slapping a student on the throat. <laughs> and on the back of the head too. And then here, this one, I love this one. Nigga, now you see me. Amazing. Oh, I found this one yesterday. It's insane, I love it. Look at this. Uh oh. <laughs> I love fake martial arts. Never stop keeping them coming. Oh my god, how is she not dying? How is she not... Honestly, she looks like she could kick his ass. Look at her, she's standing there. Oh, oh, oh! Combination? Okay. Oh, jump kick! This is a true classic. Look at all these... I'm trying to go through all the possibilities in my head, what this could be, right? Because when I watch something like this, I always want to understand what's happening. Jesus, ouch. This guy, okay, so this guy looks like he actually trained something, but I don't know what it is. But that's the thing with these fake martial artists. They're living in their own world. They believe in their own system so much that it's almost convincing. What is this with this overacting? What I find always weird is the commitment that the audience has. He does one movement and then they fly across the room. What's the point of that? That's obviously ridiculous. If you know how to do some stuff, why do you ruin your credibility like that then? <laughs> Last one for today, okay? I've seen this one. Some guy, oh my God. 
it's, I, I can't watch it. What? Uh, yeah, kick his ass. Good. Teach him that he's, what he's doing is useless. If you practice Tai Chi, if you practice Qigong, these are all things that have health benefits. And even if they didn't, if they make you feel better about yourself, that if you get out of the house, all this stuff is good, but don't fool yourself. Just because they have roots and some remnants of certain martial arts movements in them doesn't mean that you can fight. I'm gonna block the incoming punch. I'm gonna feel the energy. Well, anyways, that concludes our little trip into fake martial arts. I hope you enjoyed this. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for all the latest. And I'll see you guys next time. Antonia out. Oh,